The Agriculture Ministry welcomed the news of the most recent opening of an agro-processing facility. This comes after calls from the Agriculture Minister, Honorable Alfred Prosper, for citizens to take advantage of opportunities that exist within the agro-food sector. Jay's Agrogladen agro-processing plant has as its mission the promotion of activities to increase environmental awareness and conservation, as well as reduce fruit waste. By dehydrating fruits to create byproducts such as banana and breadfruit flour, the owners hope their products will contribute to St. Lucia's economic transformation. Co-owner of the processing plant, Ezekiel Joseph, says with consumers becoming more health conscious, creating a standardized environment to properly process and pack crops or crop products puts the agriculture industry on a better path. That's my focus. How I can work with my family and my workers and, of course, the respective ministries to transform the agricultural sector through the establishment of cottage-type agro-processing. I think we need to do it. And I know we can do it. What we need is leadership, and I'm willing to give that leadership. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barrymore Felicier, in applauding the Joseph family on the completion of the pilot phase of the processing plant, pledged the ministry's support for the processing plant's success. He notes that previous experiences such as the COVID-19 pandemic have highlighted the importance of ensuring that agricultural raw products can be processed to increase shelf life. So St. Lucia has approximately 80 agro-processors engaging in a wide range of products in areas such as paper, confectionery, wines, weird flour, and everything else. Although there are so many agro-processors, we have very few established processing plants, and that is why this achievement is commendable. And then Minister, the former minister, Mr. Ezekiel Joseph, indicated that he had established several in two in four or so. He mentioned in Urge, but there are facilities waiting to be um, established in Lakai, the, the processing facility, honey processing facility. There is also a banana ripening facility. There's the cocoa fermentry. All of these things still, still need to be operationalized. So we still have some work to do. And I believe under Export St. Lucia, there is an initiative to establish further agro-processing facilities. With a focus on enhancing St. Lucia's food security, the Ministry of Agriculture continues to support efforts to increase and improve the standards and quality of our local products and by-products. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.